to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it's weigh-in day. So I'm going to share with you kind of how my last week went, what my goals are for the upcoming week. We're going to talk about the WW workshop topic because it was an excellent one. We're on the fan favorite still through the workshop. So this is a fan favorite topic. Also make sure if you're new to my channel that you subscribe and click the little bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. If you enjoy weigh-ins and you kind of look forward to these videos, which I know a lot of you do, give this one a big thumbs up. And of course, check out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. I do macro and calorie calculation. Highly, highly recommend having this done so you kind of have a basis of what you're shooting for every day calorically and macro wise. And it does go hand in hand with WW as well. So I highly recommend taking advantage of this service. Also, I have group coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. Also, make sure that you check out the links and discount codes to all of my favorite things and head on over and join us on my Facebook group. We'd love to to have you be part of that community as well. So let's jump into this week's workshop topic, how my week went, my way in, and some goals for the next week. So first let's talk a little bit about my week. I actually had a good week until midweek and then the whole why me happened. Yes, my friends, it's my least favorite time of the month. Hit me hard midweek. Luckily, I was able to get in quite a bit of jazzercise this week. I did not go Tuesday night like normal because the class was actually canceled, but I'm going today at noon and I'm also going tomorrow for a fun kind of Halloween party. So I'm really excited to have a Halloween themed party. I actually picked up a really cute Halloween shirt in my grocery haul that you guys will see tomorrow. So excited for that. So overall, my week went pretty good. I did have quite the appetite as it got closer to my least favorite time of the month. So I did have a couple of really high calorie days, but I think it all kind of balanced out because I also had some lower calorie days as well. And that's really the bottom line. If you are tracking calories or double tracking points and calories is it's all about the grand total at the end of the week. So you can calorie cycle, have some high calorie and low calorie days, and it all evens itself out in the end. So that's what I was shooting for this week, even though, even though. So this week's workshop topic, another fan favorite was to find your perfect portion. And this goes hand in hand in what I was just saying about calories in, calories out, and spreading those out over the course of the week. It's all about portion size. You can indulge in your favorite foods, whether that be chocolate or ice cream or cake or chips, as long as you watch your portion size. We never want to restrict ourselves or eliminate foods or food groups from our diet because that is the leading cause to overeating or binging on those foods. Just make sure you're mindful of your portions. I get a lot of questions about portions size. What is the right portion size? Honestly, there's no answer to that. Portion sizes are very personal. You have to have the portion of food that is personal to you. What keeps you full, satisfied, and makes you feel like you're nourishing your body. When WW gave us zero point foods, they told us that we don't have to track those we don't have to measure those and we can eat until satisfaction. So basically they're giving us free reign on these zero point foods, but what they may or may not have told you in your workshop or when you signed up for WW, you still need to be mindful of your portions because zero points doesn't mean free food and it doesn't mean zero calories. So even on those zero point foods, we still need to be mindful. We don't want to eat 10 ounces of chicken. That's going to be well into the 500s for calories. We don't want to have two or three or four bananas. We want to have one banana. So we still need to be mindful of portions. So I like this topic. I think it's an excellent one to revisit because again, like I said, I get a lot of questions on portion. So WW is sharing four tips with us on portion control. Tip number one is serve yourself. And I think this could go one of two ways. Number one, it could mean single serve packaging, which I'm a huge fan of. I know that it's more waste. I know that it's generally not as cost effective as buying a big package or bag of an item. But in my opinion, personal size portions, prepackaged portions make portion control easy. And I know for me that I'm very likely to overindulge in my favorite foods. So if they're pre-portioned, I'm less likely to grab a second portion, if that makes sense. 
And also, serving yourself means serving yourself a portion. Let's say that for dessert, you are here for the ice cream. Grab a small bowl because the smaller the vessel that you're putting your food in, the more food it looks like you're having. Kind of tricks your brain. So grab a very small bowl, put in one serving or one scoop of ice cream. And do that for yourself. Don't have your husband or your kids serve your ice cream because chances are they may or may not give you more than one portion. Serve yourself grab your portion and enjoy. Tip number two is measure up. Now you can use measuring cups or your food scale. I always use my food scale. I don't find measuring cups to be very accurate. In fact, I've noticed that the size on measuring cups varies. I've purchased a few cute ones from things like Hobby Lobby or Target and their one cup portion is more than a plastic Dollar Tree one cup portion. I know that sounds bizarre, but trust me, if you have several brands of measuring cups, See if they all equal the cup serving that they say that they are. So I find for me, it is much easier and generally you get more, it seems like, if you measure it out on your food scale. I will link my food scale down below. I love it. It's super inexpensive, about $20 on Amazon. It's cute and it works awesome. It has all the measurements, including fluid ounces, milliliters, grams, you name it, it has it. So I would recommend measuring out on your food scale versus measuring cups. Tip number three is get tracking. See how many points or grams or ounces your portion size is that you're eating of zero point foods. So take a breast of chicken and weigh it out just to see how much you're consuming and then figure out how many calories that equals. Like I always say, knowledge is power. It's important to know your calories and macros. Definitely check out my nutrition coaching website. I can give you that information. And it's also important to know your portion size, especially on those zero point foods. Oftentimes we can under eat zero point foods. Sometimes we overeat zero point foods. So it's important to measure those out just so you kind of know where you're falling. And tip number four is make a note. Track mentally or on a piece of paper or in your Weight Watchers literature, how you're feeling with said portion of zero point foods or food in general. Let's say that you go ahead and measure yourself out a three ounce chicken breast and you eat that and you enjoy it and you savor it and you're still absolutely starving. Maybe three ounces isn't the right portion for you. So by knowing how much you're consuming, you can determine what is the right amount of portion for you. And of course, this is going to vary day to day, meal to meal, but it's just good to have the knowledge in the bank. Again, knowledge is power. So I talked to you guys a little bit about my week. We went over the workshop topic. Again, really important to watch your portions. Probably the most important thing right alongside your calories is your portion size. So loved this. So for me, even though I am in the midst of my favorite time of the month or at least favorite time of the month, I still managed to lose 0.8 on the scale this week. So that actually puts me at exactly 49 pounds gone, which is insane to me. I'm really proud of myself that I've continued to lose weight steadily. I think I've had one or two weeks in the last several months that I've had a gain, and that's just being consistent. I get that question a lot. How do you lose every single week? Consistency. I stay within my calories. I'm mindful of my portions. I watch my smart points. I try to hit my protein goal. I shouldn't even say try. I hit my protein goal almost every single day. 90% of the time I'm hitting my protein goal and that's how I'm doing it. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm not losing one, two, three, four pounds a week. Sometimes I'm not even losing a whole pound like this week, but all of these 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.0, this add up to a pound, you guys. Don't be discouraged when you do everything right and you only lose a point something because all of those eventually add up to a pound. And again, the slower we lose our weight, the more likely we're to keep it off. So that's kind of how it went for me this week. I'm happy with my point eight. Loved this week's workshop topic. So now I want to hear from you. I want to hear how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? Also, leave some comments down below. Let me know how things are going for you. I love interacting with you guys and reading your comments. So I'd love for you to take a moment and leave me a little note down in the comment section. Also, if you're new, again, subscribe, turn on your bell so you're notified whenever I upload. I do a weigh-in every Friday, so you don't want to miss out. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And definitely check out my nutrition coaching website. Again, highly, highly recommend macro and calorie calculation and the group and the one-on-one -on -one support is stellar as well. And also links, discount codes to my favorite things are also in that description box and the link to join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, my friends. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.